Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, Fani Nodia here and welcome to another one of my weekly videos. This time we are talking about there are two types of problems, you know, which one of those are your accounting practice solving? So that's what we're going to be covering today, how do you think about the specific problems, what are the considerations of the clients, you know, basically facing those sort of problems and how you should be thinking about marketing your solutions to that specific target market. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. So guys, let's kick off by saying I'm Fani Nodia. I am the Managing Director for Buzznet Direct, where we help you know, accounting firms that are struggling with marketing to get their ideal clients, you know, attract their ideal clients to them with value within 14 days. So we've been helping accounting firms for the last couple of years now and basically right now we have a strategy that we have tried and just tested, you know, go, went through so many trials and errors and we basically understand, you know, how to market accounting firms at this stage because we've been doing it for years at this stage with some awesome results to speak of. Now this ties directly into today's video on, you know, which problems are you solving? Now if you've been watching my videos for a couple of, uh, a few times, I always speak about, you know you need to you need to understand your clients you need to pick a specific target market or a niche that you know your marketing all of those sort of things can be a lot easier now this definitely ties in with what are the problems that you are solving now a lot of accounting firms don't think about it this way they think about okay you know i do accounting and basically i can just post my list of services on some groups or just list my services on my website and suddenly there's just going to be clients falling out of the air and you know that's why they contact us because that just doesn't work so what sort of problems are you solving are you just offering your normal accounting services do you offer advisory do you offer consulting services on top of that um, is there something extra that can differentiate you from your market and you know there's so many things that you can be thinking about but today's video is just going to be on there are two types of problems basically there's problems that results in discomfort and there's problems that result in distress now the main thing the main thing that's going to be the differentiator between those two is urgency how much urgency does the clients have to buy the solution. So give, to give you a very simple example, you know, we have um, plumbers in our, in our world and if you're thinking about what does plumbers do, well, let's say for example, your geezer burst last night and we had a, a situation like this, that's why we, I thought about this video, is my, my business partner Gerard had a geezer broke and burst last night and it's, it's basically, it's a crisis. It's a crisis, it's distress. It's something that you need to be solving right now. You cannot be thinking about, oh man, like I could be doing this in a week or two. It's not like a leaky pipe that's gonna be like, okay, it's just gonna be a little bit of discomfort. It's not a lot of you know, stress involved. It's not a lot of damage that could be caused. No, it's just, this, it's just the discomfort. This is distress. The person that's going through that needs help right now. So how much consideration are they going to give to service providers like at all do you think they're going to think about price do you think they're going to think about location do you think they're going to think about um, reputation all of those sort of things how long is someone going to you know google around and compare different service providers if their geezer broke or burst is that going to be something that they're going to be researching for days on end no they're most probably going to find the best one in like a five minute search it's going to be like okay here's a bunch of them okay let's just choose the one of the best reviews or let's just choose the one that has you no know, emergency services like it's so easy to market towards a problem that you're solving that's the stress if you're thinking about the plumber situation you can basically just run some google ads and just say um did your geezer broke uh, did your geezer uh, burst we fix geezers any time of the day, call now. That's basically all you need. And because the people are not gonna think about all of those extra stuff, they're not gonna put all of the other considerations in, in, in place because it's just not necessary. They just need it solved right now. To bring it back to accounting, 
like uh, discomfort could be something like, okay, I'm just, I'm overpaying on taxes a little bit. I, I'm, I'm aware of this. I need to get this problem solved. But right now, there's just so many things going on. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Or it could be distress like uh, SARS issued an audit right now because they're thinking about you stealing money or you're doing tax evasion and they need, you need someone to help you with this right now. Otherwise, you might go to jail. Like that's the stress. That's something that they really need to solve right now. And it's usually time specific as well. Like it needs to be done right now. Like maybe you need it done in the next week or two weeks. Like that's more of a distress than just a discomfort. Okay, I'm paying a few hundred bucks too much on taxes. It's not really something that uh, I need to get solved right now. So that's the difference between marketing those two types of things. The one that you can just directly call out the problem and say, you fix that problem right now. Like call us right now. You just need a call to action of, you know, call right now. It shouldn't even be like reach out via email or anything like that's going to take time. It should be call now. Because if I have a big geezer that's broken, I don't want to email someone and realize they're probably sleeping at the moment and you're only going to see it tomorrow or the next day because nobody watches their emails like very attentively. So I want to call them and if they wake up, that's fine. They said they do service delivery any time of the day. So I'm going to call that guy awake and say, I need help now. So think about this in your practice. Do you solve discomfort or do you solve, you know, distress? Because it's very different marketing those two types of things. Like we specialize in solving discomfort because the stress, you don't need to be a specialist to be very blunt. You don't need to. You can just do marketing towards that specific market. Just saying we solve this problem. That's it. Now, the problem with accounting firms is they think that they can just do that sort of marketing, like list my services on your Facebook page or you know, share, a, share something with your details saying you do general accounting services or tax submissions or that. You're thinking that's just, that's just all that you need to do. You can just post your services. Well, I'm not going to choose an accountant in the next five minutes. So if I see you do accounting services and you're an accounting firm, I'm just going to see, well, great, you do accounting, you're an accounting firm, great, I don't care. I really don't care. If I'm doing research, active research to get myself an accountant and you just post your services, well, your services is most likely very similar to the other guys because most accounting practices offer the same services. Yes, some only specialize, but there's very few that specializes. So I'm going to do a little bit more research. I'm going to look at your reviews. I'm going to look at, you know, what are the people saying on Hello Pizza, on Google Reviews, different platforms. I'm going to see, do you have a website? Is your website, you know, user friendly? Is it something that I can do a little bit more research on? Is there calls to action? Do you offer something up front? Do you offer some value up front, which I can consume and gauge whether or not I want to work with you? Is there something that you can do to build more trust and credibility with me picking my accounting firm to use. So that's a lot more consideration than it's going to be with distress. You can just call them out. So this is what I wanted to be talking about today, guys. You should be thinking about, I cannot just go and post my services. I should be building trust and credibility. I should be increasing my online reputation. I should be, you know, creating some more content or I should be creating something of value that you can offer to the market as a teaser that could really be valuable, that could build that trust and credibility with them. So when it comes time to decide, okay, I need an accounting firm, I'm going to choose the guys that's providing me value upfront. That's just how it is. That and do they specialize in me? Probably reversed. First, I'm going to see if there's someone specializing in me. Let's say, for example, digital marketers or consultants. Is there someone that knows my business model, knows how I operate, that I don't need to explain absolutely everything to them, that they actually knows what's going on, and I don't need to waste my time going through that entire process. And then it's going to be, do they offer something up front? Do they offer value? Do they give something more? You know, are they friendly? Do they... Like all of those extra stuff just piles on, but the first ones to get my attention is do they specialize in me and do they offer something up front? Then I'm going to go a little bit deeper and most probably I'm not even going to find someone else that specializes in me. There's so few accounting practices, accounting practices or accounting firms out there that specializes that basically if I can find one today that specializes in my industry 
in what I do specifically, I will most probably go for that guy. I most probably give him a call and just like, hey, you actually specialize in us. Great. Tell me a little bit more. Like, how do you know the industry? Like, how can you help me? Is there something that you guys can implement from your side to, you know, help me with cash flow management, help me with my invoicing, help me with my payroll, help me with this, help me with that? Because I just want you to understand me and my business. And there's so many clients out there, there's so many prospects out there that feels the same way. They just want to be understood, they don't want to struggle, they don't want it to be a painful process, and they don't want it to be a grudge purchase. They just don't want it to be that. That's why you should go that little bit of extra mile, differentiate yourself, pick a niche, pick a target market, and give some value up front, give some extra things, make sure your online reputation management is up, up to scratch, make sure your website's up to scratch, make sure that you have happy clients, all of those sort of things, very, very important. And yeah, guys, I really hope this created some value to you and good luck with the last two weeks of February. We know this is a very, very stressful and busy time, so enjoy the rest of February and you know, hopefully you guys are around when it comes to March because that's going to be a very exciting time. We're thinking about doing some webinars, giving some more value, giving some back to the community. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very, very exciting time that's coming in March. So thank you very much, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.